What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another Lumion tutorial for you. So um, in this video I wanted to talk about how to add flying birds into the background of your Lumion renderings. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So this is probably going to be a pretty quick video because of how easy this has been made inside of Lumion, but I still wanted to make a video about it anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fly up. And if you remember, this is our house model that we've created before. I'll link to some videos on this. But what I want to do is I want to add some um, birds flying around above it. So in order to do that, we're going to go into place objects mode, or we're going to go into object mode. We're going to click on people and animals. And we're going to click on place mode. And note that this is in Lumion 9, so this may look a little bit different than the version you have if you haven't upgraded to that version. And so what we're going to do in this case is we're going to go through our custom library. And so you can see how there's lots of different options in here for things like farm animals and 2D people and 3D people and marine life, all sorts of different things. Well, in this case, we're going to focus on the birds. And so you can see that there's two different kinds of birds in here. There's idle and there's flying. And so the idle birds are going to do exactly what it sounds like. They're going to not move around. However, the flying birds are actually going to fly around in a circle when you place them inside your rendering. So let's go ahead and pick this duck 01 or 001 flying. We're just going to click and place this. And so when you initially place this, what this is going to do is this is going to place this at the same level as your insertion point. And you're going to notice that that means this duck is now getting placed in here. So you can see how that duck is now flying around kind of in a circle around that insertion point. And so if you ever want to find that, you can just click on select mode and you can see how there's actually a point in here for the duck um, indicating where it is. And it's usually kind of centered inside uh, where this duck would be. And so in this case, what we could do is we could either place a bunch of them at once or we could just adjust this one. I'm going to go ahead and start off by adjusting this one. So once you place this in here, I'm just going to click on the move up button and I'm just going to click and drag this up. And I'm going to click and drag this up until this bird is flying a little bit higher. You'll notice there's really no collision detection or anything like that. So it will fly through your building. So you just need to make sure that you put these birds high high up enough that they're not going to fly through anything and hurt your level of realism in here. You can see how it's just flying in a circle. And you can adjust where that is by using the free move mode or anything like that. Well, now let's talk about an easy way to add multiple birds. So let's say you wanted several birds flying around in here and you wanted to place them all at once. So all you would have to do in this case is I'm going to go ahead and add probably a couple pigeons in here, maybe a swan, and then maybe another couple of these pigeon zero ones in here as well. So you can see how all those different um, birds are now flying around in here and they're flying through the ground and everything looks a little bit weird. Well, we're going to go ahead and we're going to fix that. So we're just going to find one of these birds. And in this case, I'm going to go in and I'm going to click the button um, to select this bird. And then I'm going to click the left arrow key. What that's going to do is that's going to allow me the option to either select all identical objects or select all objects in category. I'm going to click on the button for select all objects objects in category. You can see how what that did is that went in and that selected all of the birds that we've placed inside of our rendering. So now I can just come in here and I can just move these up really easily. So since I have them all selected, you can see how the height of all of them is being adjusted. And so now if I was to fly down, you can see how I can see my different birds in here. And so you can see how those birds are now flying around in the background. And you could also come in here and adjust each one of them individually if you wanted to. So like, let's say for example, that I was to deselect all of these and then adjust each one of these individually, I could definitely do that. So once you have your birds kind of placed inside your rendering, you can go in and you can export them to a rendered video. So for example, and this one bird, I so like we've got all these flying around, we've got our view kind of looking up. Well, now we can go into photo mode or actually we want to go into movie mode. 
and we're just going to add a scene. So we're just going to click on the button for record, and we're just going to set, we're just going to click to take a photo just like we would any other time, and then we're just going to take another photo. And so now if we were to go back and we were to play this animation, you can see how these birds just keep flying around in the background. So um, th they're just, it's very easy to do. Now if I was to go back here and I was to play this clip, you can see how this clip contains all of the birds flying around in the background. So, um, and you do have to be a little bit careful. You'll notice that right here, this bird actually disappears in the middle of my video because I cut it off. So you need to be kind of aware of where those birds are so you don't have weird clipping errors and things like that. And then from there, we would just render this video as we would a normal video inside of Lumion. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Was this something that was helpful to you? Have you used this in the past? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. Um, as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.